The tracks are reopened, but the questions remain following another train derailment on the main track west of Edmonton. It's the second derailment in as many weeks. And as Kim Trinacity reports, it's triggered more calls for investigations and accountability. It's a major mess. 13 CN rail cars jumped the track on the weekend near piers west of Edmonton, spilling loads of lumber and blocking the track. But nobody was hurt and there's no immediate environmental damage. Still, it's shaking the confidence of area residents. You wonder what's going on. I mean, are they maintaining their tracks or not maintaining their tracks for that to happen, happen that quickly? It's the same line as another derailment two weeks ago. That one forced more than 100 people from their homes when hazardous chemicals spilled from the cars. In the language of the Transportation Safety Board, Piers is just another rail occurrence. One of more than 1,000 in the last year, one that doesn't require independent investigation by the Transportation Safety Board. They're probably short of staff. They're busy investigating the big incidents that they have. Edmonton NDP MP Linda Duncan says every occurrence should be investigated and given increased rail traffic, an environmental assessment. We have environmental impact assessment for major pipelines, but there's no environmental impact assessment for this kind of increased trafficking along rail lines. Rail transportation is regulated by the federal government, but it must report derailments to the province. Transportation Minister Rick McIver has been hearing complaints from local mayors and Reeves. Has there been a lapse in reporting to the province? You know what, uh, we're investigating that uh, right now and, and all the details of the, uh, the most recent uh, event. And if there is indeed a lapse, we'll, we'll deal with it. The main track running near piers was reopened to traffic this morning. Kim Tronacity, CBC News, Edmonton.